Greetings everyone, Eric here, and welcome back to another product review. In this one, we'll be taking a look at this programmable mechanical keyboard from Coolertron. So this is something I've been trying to find for a long time. Most programmable keypads that I used to find were rather expensive, and the only other way to get the effect was to use a software that let me change what keys on a keyboard do. However, one day I came across this completely programmable keyboard on Amazon, and I absolutely love it. It only costs around $70, and every single key on it can be reprogrammed to either another key, set of keys, or custom macros that you can script yourself. The keyboard has 44 fully programmable keys. The keys themselves are OEM Gatoron red switches, which have a very nice feel to them. And also a nice little clack. Clickety clack, clickety clack. The keycaps can be removed with the included keycap remover and swapped out with any other keycaps you'd like. The configuration I got has four keys that are two spots wide, meaning this, 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 and this, kind of like the shift key. But you can buy different models that have different types of special key types depending on what you need. In the packaging, it comes with a bunch of spare keys. So if you'd like, you could have all of the standard QWERTY keys set up but you can also arrange them in any way you'd like. It even includes some different color keycaps, which you can use for special keys that you would like to quickly identify at a glance. As you can see here, I have these ones up at the top, and I use these for something special, which I'll talk about in a minute. Inside the software is where you can do all of the customization. To access the keyboard for programming, unplug the keyboard, open up the software, then while holding down the top rightmost key, plug the keyboard back in. Once done, the software will go into program mode and you can customize to your heart's content. To change a key, simply click on the key you wish to change. This opens up a configuration menu where you can select the key type, what the key will do, even a handy keyboard button so you can just click on what key you wish to this key to be. That was a rough sentence to say. When you select a key type, on the bottom left, you'll see a handy little help section which explains what the key type can do and what it's recommended for. For instance, normal keyboard just lets you program a button to be a single key press. If you were to switch to, say, hotkey function, you can now set it up so the one key press does a combination key press, like Control alt f for instance. You can even save up to four configurations, which can be accessed with key presses. If you'd like, you can have one configuration for an art program, a second config for video editing, and another for streaming. Basically, that's what I use these keys up here for. I have them programmed for the different configurations that I use depending on what I'm doing. To select which you're editing, simply press the Select Profile Onboard button and pick a profile to edit. The default profile is simply the one that comes on first when the keyboard is powered on. When you're done editing, hit Save Profile Onboard to pick which profile you're saving to, and then press End and Reboot to restart the keyboard back into use mode. There are a ton of functions and settings you can mess with in the software, most of which I haven't even tried, so better to look up a manual or a more experienced guide on how to really take advantage of everything it has to offer. For me, this keyboard has become a heavily used tool in my workflow. The ability to have a ton of functions at hand with one key press just makes a huge difference when doing art or streaming that I honestly can't recommend this keyboard enough. If you're in the market for a programmable keyboard that doesn't cost a ton of money, give this one a look in the description below. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you'd like to help support me, check the description where you can purchase a t-shirt, hire me to do commissions, check out my band's music, or take one of my Skillshare classes. You're also more than welcome to donate using coffee. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.